Uh, with Ed at the end of uh, a really satisfying afternoon today, congratulations to the team. Some absolutely clinical finishing today. Yeah, yeah, we're uh, it's becoming a bit of a running theme, I think, for the coaching staff. Um, one of the big things that we talk about all the time is, is upgrading chances and, and um, trying to like nerd out a little bit but trying to increase the, the XG on chances by, by getting the ball into certain areas in the box and uh, for, to be falling up at half time you'd think we've probably done really well with that but all four goals come from outside the box so we're just going to stop um, we're just going to start coaching through vibes I think rather than giving any sort of information um, but first half was really good uh, really aggressive 3-0 um, up inside 21 minutes uh, and that come off the back of all the hard work that that the girls put in in that, in that early period. Loads of top end regains um, and the reason we were able to score the goals that we did was because of the energy and the enthusiasm that the girls put into the performance. So work, job was done by half time and then second half it was just about being professional, make sure we kept the clean sheet um, and it was nice to, to add another goal in as well. Yeah, I think, you know, we, we stood here this time last week, weren't we, uh, after the Aberdeen game, frustrating, we didn't really get the chances away and then we've saved it all for, for one day, some some brilliant finishes, any, you want to pick out of those five? Uh, to be fair, they were all good, like the the, the, the connections and the ball striking was really good, um, like Tia's one was, I think, worth a, worth a mention, mainly because she was one one first contact on the corner to block, block the second phase coming in uh, and then made up the yards to go and, and be able to chip the key from the distance that she did so that was great that was a really good one but they were all really enjoyable um, like I said last week was a little bit frustrating in front of goal uh, but but it happens like the girls keep trying to do the right things um, and as long as that stays that stays that way um, and we try and nail our controllables like the results are going to be what they're going to be um, but it's four points in a week uh, two clean sheets on a bounce which is unheard of for us so we're in a really good spot yeah two clean sheets you've changed sort of um system today um, for for this game yeah, yeah. Um, without giving away too much <laughs> but um, so to sort of transition from one week to the second to the next and keep the defensive um, line as solid as it was is is testament to the work yeah. you've all put in yeah I like to be fair like, I'm really pleased you've actually mentioned that because like we've, we've had to change system today out of necessity like trying to get trying to get fit bodies out to be able to do what we wanted to do today um, it's been a bit of a struggle this week um, but yeah, we've been able to, to switch systems up and still keep the clean sheet. Kenny's had to make a couple of really good saves, um, mainly from shots from distance again though. So it's two games in a row where we've we've limited the opposition from creating too much. Um, and like I said, to be able to do that bouncing between systems is is incredibly pleasing. People playing out of position today as well. People coming in for their first minutes. Like Ella's not started too many games at this level. She come in and did an unbelievable shift in centre mid. Like Ava making a debut today as well as a kid. Um, I think it was something like. 10 or 11 teenagers in the squad again today so for us to be as adaptable as we are considering the circumstances is really really pleasing um, one defeat in seven in 90 minutes now against the tier three side so we're building momentum with this group cup quarter final next week to look forward to so with a bit of luck this run is going to continue um, well into the Christmas break. Yeah, let's just mention quickly um, at the end um, Ava's debut. I thought she did fantastic. Yeah. So it's well worth a mention. And it's just showing the sort of harmony, I guess, between the first team and the devs team. Yeah. That you can switch players between the two yeah. and create opportunities for people. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that was, that was one of the big things coming in. That was one of the main things that I wanted to focus on. Um, in that first year, we had a, a group of about 30 players operating in the first team because we needed a group that size because we, physically we weren't prepped for the season and a whole host of other reasons um, so going into the second season and now into the third season it was really important to start to develop a pathway um, so building those relationships with, with BCA College and the under 19s team that they've got us developing and growing the development team last year and this year so that there's a clear pathway going from juniors uh, in the under 18s into the academy set up with the 19s into the development team and then first team football and Ava's another product of that Ava's uh, had some really good experiences with the development team so far um, and we deliberately try and work as closely together as possible with that group to make sure that when opportunities do arise and we're short on bodies and we need people to come up uh, and we need to call upon people that A, they're familiar with the group already and like they're familiar with the coaches uh, and we know that they're capable of doing it. So Ava's another one of those today um, and I'm sure she will not be the last one this season. Yeah, on that note, have a great week and uh, we look forward to the cut game next weekend. Mm -hmm.